Hey guys, what's going on? Inception here and welcome to another video. Ladies and gentlemen, we have the new team of the season, Luis Suarez, to review today. I'm excited about this one because I actually liked using his player moments card. The only thing that he felt like he was lacking at the time, mostly, there was a few things here and there, but mostly it was the pace to use him in that striker position. But now, with the team of the season version existing, we have... 93 acceleration with 87 sprint speed, so it's perfect for the engine chemistry style because of the things that we need to improve on the card left, right, and center. So, base card stats. We're looking at six foot tall, high medium work rates, right footed, four star skill moves with a four star weak foot. If I remember correctly, Suarez has a unique body type. If I remember correctly, has a unique body type, so that's a really big deal. Uh, solid player traits, outside foot shot traits, some good stuff to work with there. Unfortunately, he doesn't have the finesse shot trait, but. I, I could see him being an absolutely clinical striker anyways. Uh, base card stats for pace is at 93.87. Perfect for the engine chemistry style to boost it up to a 98.92. Uh, base card stats for shooting is essentially perfect. 99, 99, 97, 96 long shots. 98 volleys at 98 composure. So he should be able to shoot really nicely with both feet in the really good strike areas. Base card stats for passing, also very good for the card. Uh, with a card like Luis Suarez, because of his height and unique body type, for me, again, it's a card that I would mostly use through the middle. If you want to use a card like this in the cam, uh, cam position, I would actually suggest it. Because with the player moments card, I actually enjoyed using him a lot in that cam position because he didn't have the pace at the time, right? But because this one has the pace, I can feel... I feel like his aggression is definitely going to be nice from time to time for sure, right? But if you see with the boost that we give him, the engine chemistry style is boosting his balance to a 99, which is nice to work with the six foot height that he does have. But then we're also going to be giving him some agility as well as some dribbling stats while working already with 99 reactions and 97 ball control. Uh, we're going to be boosting his passing stats. We're going to be giving him some pace boost couple of good things here and there he has 99 heading accuracy which is very helpful but he does have 76 jumping uh more helpful when you clear the ball off from the defense win the ball in the air go from there right not only does he have all those things so far but then he also has the 94 strength and 98 uh, 96 aggression okay so those physical stats incredible with Suarez, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to be using him in two different ways. We are going to be using him in a 4-2-3-1, where he will be playing up top in the striker position. Um, and then we're also going to be using him getting behind for Suarez. No, for the sake of the review, I need to try him out first on balanced. Wouldn't mind getting behind, though, especially for this formation. It wouldn't be bad at all, but I just want to see how he plays with the other players. And then 4-3-1-2. I'm going to put Neymar here. Suarez, we're going to have a balance instructions for the 4 3 one, 2 as well. So he can play with a secondary striker too. So yeah, let's go ahead and see how he performs in game. Okay, so we're in Diaz, kind of viral. Um, okay, cool, 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 cool. It's like a narrow formation too. So I'll probably line up with a 4 2 3 one for now. Oh. Was that deflected? I, I think that was deflected, but I, you know what? I'll take it. Thank you. Love the cut side run that you did right there. That's dope. That was well under pressure, to be fair. That was actually solid. Oof. Base characteristic, you actually move to the side over there. He seems, um, on the balance instruction, he seems very, like, balanced, if that makes sense. Like, he's not, like, super overly aggressive. He doesn't only choose one specific run. Um, I see him dropping back into the midfield quite often as well, which is pretty cool. So, yeah, he just seems like a very good all-round striker in regards to movement and whatnot. Like, you can see the way that he moves over there is to the side. You can build up the play here in the middle, go from there. Oh, you know what? I should have just done a regular pass across. It was going to be way too easy for him to intercept right there. Way too easy. But that was a great pass by Suarez. Nice. Good play. And I don't score. Huh. It's not his fault. I had to generate more power. But it was coming off of the run, which was a little bit strange. But...
Oh, I still have the ball. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. It's a great finish from that angle. Okay, guys, so for the second half, we're going to use the uh, two-striker formation. From the one-striker formation, it doesn't look like he has any sort of uh, linear attacking AI. Like, he does, like, different things, which I I do like. It makes him uh, very, very well-rounded. Oh, I should have done a ball roll strike to the opposite direction, not the near post. Hmm. It's funny because I try to go for the shot cancel right there, but he just struck, struck it with his uh, his weak foot. Nice. Good goal right there. I'll take it. Oh, I thought he was actually going to score that from the skill move. No. Woof. Woof. Saucy, Suarez. Absolutely saucy. Yeah, I like that he's not... Um, he, he doesn't have, like... Like, a specific attacking AI, you know? I wouldn't say it's the best one, right? Because there's, uh, you know, players like Kylian Mbappe. It just, whew, it just moves for you, honestly. But um, I like it. I'm going to be honest with you guys. The way that he's moving across the pitch, like, would be super nice at Cam, you know? And Striker, it's like you kind of have to work certain variables with other cards and the way that your other teammates move and stuff. But it's still pretty good. It's, it's Dude, it's the definition of basic. That's what it feels like. It's really interesting with this card because... Um, He's not aggressive, but then he's not not aggressive. Like, he's just very basic. Like, for me personally, if I were to use this card in my team, I would just use him on the balance instruction. Like, I wouldn't really force an instruction out of him. Um, but I guess with the pace boost that you actually have on this card, a get in behind would now be fine. You know what I'm saying? Like, because he didn't have the pace before, I probably wouldn't give him a get in behind. I think I remember correctly if I, I gave him a balance because I just didn't... His attacking air, there's no, like, specific one, you know? It's the same thing with this one, which I like, to be honest. It's not that I don't like it. Um, I want to give him a get-in-behind instruction. I'm going to do it for both of the formations. Because um, I just want to see how he responds to it. Like I said, I like his base characteristics for attacking AI. I uh, just want to see how he does with that. Oh, man. I always keep going for the near post. I gotta stop going for that near post, man. Seems like I gotta go for like a ball roll finesse over there or something. I don't know. Oh, I should have lost the ball there, but he's physical as F. <laughs> That's a terrible finesse shot from a really, really poor angle, but I just wanted to see if how ridiculous he would be from there. <laughs> yeah, why not? You know, just a crazy strike from there, too. If you have, like, one striker that's, like, more aggressive attacking AI-wise, it would definitely be uh, a nice balance between him and somebody else. It's funny, because even with the getting behind instruction, like, he'll do it sometimes, but he still plays to his base characteristic. Oof! Oof! Nice strike, man. That was nice. Very good. Very good. I like it. Off the heel to heel, too. Nice. Double, double pass. If you guys don't know, I mean, I tapped the pass button twice. It's For some reason, it's just really accurate. Like, you know, kind of got to do it. Suarez puts himself in a great position there again. Yeah, th this version of the card, I don't mind the get him behind for. This one, I don't. The moment is because he was too slow. But this one adapts very quickly. Shot again? Nice. Uh, yeah, get him behind definitely works nice. On a basic, guys, like I said, if you're looking for a card that's not really like linear to a specific attacking AI, 
Um, this is your guy. He doesn't like I said. He's not. He's not overly aggressive. He's not super conservative. You know. Uh, on getting behind, he's nice. I think if I use him on my team, it'd probably be a getting behind. Um, I think it'd make the most sense. Get some movement out of him. You know, get into the right space at the right time. Ooh. Oh, I thought he was going to actually score that. He chipped that really nicely. Very smooth. I put, like, some decent power into it, too. So it was, like, a very direct chip, which was nice. I liked it. I do be liking it. I do be liking it. Nice. That skill move is the one that Mbappe did against that, like, League One goalkeeper. That's... I like doing the skill move because that's, like, the authentic way that I saw Mbappe do it. Uh, it's, it's pretty cool. You gotta get the right angles for it, you know? Okay, guys. So, final verdict on the Suarez card. So, now he's really good because they've given him the pace, right? So, if you take a look at the player moments card... Uh, the pace obviously being low is definitely a problem. The engine chemistry style, you'd probably feel the agility a little bit more, but the unique body type probably helped it out a lot, right? With this Team of the Season version of the card, everything just feels really nice on him. His attacking AI, it's very interesting, man, because I, if I remember correctly, his player moments was very similar. It just feels very basic, you know? Like, if you... Uh, not basic in, like, a bad way. Like, he's basically the type of player that will do all of the attacking AI runs. Not, like, super aggressively, but he's just kind of, like, lingering in the attacking third, which is pretty cool, to be honest with you. I don't mind it at all. Um, with this card... I would actually recommend you giving him a get in behind instruction because that base characteristic that he has with get in behind actually played really well in game in my opinion. And it worked really well with the other attacking players in regards to disguised runs too. So every time I dribbled up or I dribbled in a certain direction, my player would always adapt to that certain situation, which was really, really cool. Uh, this card on an engine chemistry style, guys, his unique body type works well with his dribbling stats. You notice it being off a little bit just a little bit from time to time, but it's not necessarily a big deal at all. Like, it's still pretty good because the unique body type obviously helps it out a lot. Uh, if his body type was an average, you'd probably you'd probably notice it being worse, but it actually dribbles quite well in game. I like the left stick dribbling responsiveness with him because even when I come off of like a fake shot a certain way, um, it just works, everything just works really nicely, man. The 98 composure working with the shooting stats that he has, his finishing is really really good uh the only times that he didn't score was opportunities where i either had to put more shot power or i had to get the right angle because even if you're in a terrible angle you shouldn't always expect to score right but uh certain opportunities where i got him on his four star weak foot strong foot hit a finesse shot like his finesse shots come off great as well um because of the fact that his base card stats are high and i'm pretty sure his moments was like that as well i think uh his finesse shots were pretty dope, even though he didn't have the traits, right? So with him, it's definitely the same thing. His center of gravity is actually pretty dope, to be fair. And I, I really think it's because of that unique body type that he has. Uh, the pace at 98 acceleration, 92 sprint speed, honestly works really well for his base characteristics for attacking AI as well. Uh, passing, obviously phenomenal. I would actually recommend for you guys to try this card out in the cam position. I actually feel like you guys would like it a lot because... Um, just the way he moves across the pitch, it just makes a lot of sense in that area. Even as a center forward, high medium work rates uh, with his uh, base attacking AI would be nice too. Like I said, it's not like super linear. It's not like super aggressive. It's not like be aggressive, go back into this position, blah, blah, blah. It's not on the level of um, Mbappe. Like I think Mbappe's attacking AI is phenomenal. Uh, I think, if I remember correctly, Johan Cruyff had, a real, had the best one as well. Um, so it's not on that level, but it's still pretty solid man like it's one of those types of cards where you just get into that one position touch shoot score the opportunity you know so he's really cool hopefully some of you guys actually pack him from the team of the season spc whenever they drop that probably on the wednesday i would say that's usually when they drop them and uh yeah good luck to you guys man if you guys pack him in some sort of like 80 plus or 84 plus that'd be dope man he's he's a really really fun card to use you guys will like his finishing a lot it's really it's really solid so um yeah i'll see you guys for the next video peace out dudes love you guys